Draw Me a Star by Eric Carle. And this is the front of the book and the back of the book. If you notice, there are names. So um, that is called book reviews. Um, we have three book reviews. Kirkus has a book review about how he feels after reading this book. The School of Library Journal uh, wrote something how they feel when they uh, finish reading the book. And so did Horn Book. This book, it has brilliant collage. So if you notice that a lot of his book, Eric, Eric Carl's book, he has a lot of pieces of art that are made by sticking different materials together. That is called collage. Let me show you some pictures of collage. You see, he would put, glue a lot of stuff together to make into a collage. Brilliant collage, poignant and powerful in its simplicity. Eric Carl creates an unforgettable story that celebrates imagination and the artist in us all. So you are an artist. So he wants you to, when you read this book, he wants you to think about when you draw, it gives you a sense, a deep feeling. That's what poignant means. Unforgettable story is that it's a story that you're not going to forget and it's simple. It's a remarkable, it means that's amazing. Quintessentially simple book encompassing creation, creativity, and the cycle of life within the eternal. Carl's trademark style vibrant tissue collage on dramatic white is wonderfully effective in expressing the joy of creation. Why the econ economy with which he expresses these universal ideas gives them extraordinary power. So, Kirkus Reviews, they said that this is an amazing book. It has a way of simply expressing a lot of creativity in this book. His style of using tissue collage, and he added a lot of white in it. And it gives you a, such a joyful feeling when you read this book. This book will appeal to readers of all ages and inspire a book in every sense of the word. It means that a lot of, it could be a 10-year-old might like this book, a 15-year-old might like this book. So it's up for all ages. There is poetry in the prose and mastery in the pictures. So what that means is that when you read this book, think of poem, think of poetry. When it's prose and mastery, it means that it's written and spoken language. Eric Carl, the author of this book, Draw Me a Star. Remember, when you're reading this book and listening to this book, be an artist because you are an artist. Draw me a star. And the artist drew a star. It was a good star. Draw me the sun, said the star, and the artist drew the sun. It was a warm sun. Draw me a tree, said the sun, and the artist drew a tree. It was a lovely tree. Draw me a woman and a man, and the artist drew a handsome couple. A couple is a, could be a man and a woman. Uh, together, so it's a, their couple. Draw us a house, said the couple, and the artist drew a house. It was a strong house. Draw me a dog, said the house, and the artist drew a dog. It was a big dog. Draw me a cat, said the dog. Draw me a bird, said the cat. Draw me a butterfly, said the bird. Draw me a flower, said the butterfly, and the artist drew red and yellow and blue and purple flowers. Beautiful flowers. Look at his collage. Do you remember 
The collage is, is a piece of art that's made of sticking different materials and pieces of paper or tissue together. And this is a collage. Draw as a cloud, said the flowers, and the artist drew clouds heavy with rain. Beautiful rainbow and house. Look at all the people. Look at this beautiful collage. Draw me the night, said the rainbow, and the artist drew a dark night. Draw me the moon, said the knights, and the artist drew a full moon. Draw me a star, said the moon. Follow these steps to learn how to draw a star. It was a good star. Hold on to me, said the star to the artist. Then together they traveled across the night sky. Dear friends, when I was a young child, my German Oma, grandmother, scribbled a star for me as she recited this nonsense poem. Recited means she, she read, she um, taught him this nonsense poem. It says, Kri kra kroten fuss, ganse lofen bar fuss, kri kar toes foot, geese walk barefoot. Remember when it's nonsense, it means it doesn't make sense. Then last summer on my vacation, I dream about shooting stars. The first stars fell into the valleys of the distant hills, it means far away. More stars fell closer and closer. Finally, a very bright star fell directly on me, not hurting me at all. In fact, it felt pleasant. I mean, it feels really good. Kind of triggling, it feels really good. After that, the star and I rose up and traveled across the night sky. I had a beginning for a book and an ending. The middle was easy. Sincerely, Eric Carl. So he wants you to use your imagination. And when you use your imagination, remember that you are a star. Or you can be a, a dog or imagine to be something else you can also imagine looking at the sky and imagine what you see across the night sky remember you are an artist i hope you enjoy this book draw me a star